Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dima Tutorials and what I do here is to help you prepare warfare exams on the use of English and on literature. If you want to subscribe to this channel, please click on the subscribe button below this video and on the notification bell so that you can always get notified whenever I upload a new video. Today we are going to continue with the summary of the novel Second Class It is in Babuchi Emecheta. Second Class It is in Babuchi Emecheta. If you have not watched the first episode, please see me now in the comment section so I can give you the link. So in this video, we're going to start from where we stopped in the first episode. And in the first episode, we stopped at when Anna and Francis secured an apartment in Panobo's house. After they have settled in Panobo's house, Anna woke up one morning and didn't feel like going to work. She felt unusually heavy. Her baby was not due yet, but she wasn't herself. She managed to get dressed for work. On reaching to the rail station, she discovered that the railway workers had gone on strike and she couldn't go to work. But she was afraid of coming home and be called lazy by her husband, who is at tomb. When she got home, Francis, her husband, still questioning her on why she came back home. He went on to preach about the biblical virtuous woman whose reward is worth more than rubies. He kept on talking and talking, and as he went to get a book to support his point as to why Ada should work until she drops in order for him, Francis, to be honored in the cities, Ada stood up and went to the hospital. As she got there, she sat on a wooden chair in the surgery room. She fixed her eyes on a poster and concluded that the ribs on the poster belonged to a woman because it was fanciful and wondered why women should receive most of the punishment for eating the apple in the garden. Since Adam also ate the apple, a woman had to carry and bear a child, walk and on top of it all, having to have cancer. Then people began to trickle out of the surgery room. But Ada was not in a haste to see the doctor, even though she was in so much pain. When it was her turn to see the doctor, she allowed the woman after her to go in. Then the woman informs the doctor about her. The doctor came out herself and called her in. In the discussion, she told the doctor that she wasn't going to have her baby in the teaching hospital but at home. When the doctor inquired to know why, she couldn't tell her because she didn't want to start crying in the process. Francis had told Ada to put to bed at home so they could get the grant government gives people who give bed at home. And she scampered to the house amidst serious pains but not as serious as real labor pains. She pressed the doorbell as she had forgotten her keys at home in a hurry to leave Francis. Then the midwives whom she was supposed to call at the onset of her pains met her and soon she began to bleed. She was then taken to the hospital where she had her baby via C-section. In the hospital, she noticed how other women were showered with love and care by their husbands and relatives, while she didn't even have a nightdress but wore the hospitals until she was demanded to get her own nightwear and return the hospital's dress. She stayed in the hospital for days and watched how other women were brought flowers, cards, and how they really received love and care from their husbands. She wished for such care from Francis and even decided she was going to tell Francis to buy her two nice nightwears with her own money just to feel loved. Before the hospital management made it a thing of duty, thereby removing the glamour of receiving a nightdress from her husband, even though they were going to be bought with her own money. When Francis came, he came with a letter. And he was very excited about it. He gave it to Ada and hurried her to the last paragraph where her boss had decided to pay her a lump sum of money and hoped she used the money to take a holiday and get some clothes for herself. Francis told her to send the money to him to pay for a course. When Ada asked him if she had died during childbirth, who would take care of the children? Then Francis told her that he would send the children to his mother. And this annoyed Ada so much that she ordered him out of the world. She regretted marrying Francis and prayed her children do not marry because they wanted a home. And that married Francis because she needed a home, since her mother was taken over by her uncle after the death of her father, and she was sent to work as a maid in another of her uncle's house. She prayed they marry because they love and respect their men, and not to their highest bidder. She taught Francis to buy her a night dress, and she specified that she wanted a blue night dress. 
Francis asked her if the money hadn't arrived, what she would have bought the night dress with, and that didn't have the energy to reply him as she was still losing blood. Francis bought her a blue night dress that has the same shape as the hospital's dress. When it was time for her to leave the hospital, she left without thanking or saying goodbye to the nurses and doctors that took care of her because she was ashamed and her baby didn't have new baby voice like other babies. But later, she regretted her actions. Since Sata could not work in her condition, Francis was forced to get a job of posting letters during the Christmas period. But he complained of how hectic and how risky the job is because he imagined being beaten by a dog while posting letters. But he had no option than to do the job since Ada could not work. Ada felt so sorry for him and felt very bad for allowing her husband to face the difficulty of working and the risk of being beaten by a white dog which the whites value more than the lives of the black people. As she was taking Titi to the park, she felt dizzy and some pains. Then she regretted feeling bad for Francis. On her way back, she saw a woman doing the same job Francis complained about and got very angry for letting Francis make him feel so bad for him. Since it was Christmas, parents were getting gifts for their children, including Mrs. Noble, who bought from Never Never Man. Never Never Man is a type of purchase that you have to pay by installment. When Mrs. Noble asked Ada if she had bought gifts for her children, Ada said no because they were members of Jehovah Witness Church who believed that Jesus was not born in December but October. Then Mrs. Noble asked if she celebrated in October but she said no and wondered why Jehovah Witness members do not celebrate in October. Luckily, her boss in the library where she worked sent her toys for her children. Mrs. Noble had invited Ada's children for a tea party on the Christmas day, but a night to Christmas, Ada noticed that one of Vicky's ears was swelling and she rubbed petroleum jelly on it. In the morning, the ear was more swollen. Then Ada called Francis, who was at the Noble's watching TV. Francis went out to call their doctor, but the doctor wouldn't come because it was Christmas day. Then Francis reported to the police and they followed him home. And when they saw the condition of Vicky's ear, they invited a doctor who was a Chinese man. And when the doctor saw that the cause of Vicky's swollen ear was bed box, he showed Ada and Francis how to get rid of bed box in an unorthodox way. In the evening, Mrs. Nombo brought some jellies for Vicky. But he refused to eat them because they were too colorful for food. On Monday morning, when Ada's family was asleep, Ada went to have a bath in a public bathroom, which they used. As she waited outside the bathroom, she admired the bed that was singing early that morning. After her bath, she got ready to take Bubu, her third child, to the hospital for weighing. As she got to the hospital, she met a nurse and requested that she be given a birth control pill. The nurse gave her a literature, that's a book to read, and a form to fill. And in that form, there's a space where her husband has to append her signature to show that he is in support of the process. And knowing that Francis would not agree, they decided to fill the form, sign on her own space, and forged Francis' signature on Francis' own space. When she went to the hospital to get the pill, she met a woman who had itchy ratchets all over her body. The woman told Ada that it was the reaction of the birth control pill she was given. This meant Ada, who wanted to opt for the birth control pill to go for the cap, which had to be fixed on her body. In the night, Ada went downstairs and fixed it on her body, and when she came up, Frances noticed she was walking abnormally and asked what was wrong with her, and she said she hit her leg on the bricks. She, as she was coming upstairs, Francis didn't talk to her. When Francis wanted to do something with her after the children had slept, Francis asked again and she confessed everything to him and she got badly beaten by him. And Francis went on to invite the nobles to explain to them that Ada had gone for family planning without letting him know. This bothered Ada because she knew that Francis had only succeeded in making a fool of himself. And now people know that she's been beaten about by her husband and that the man she has been working for is just a fool. 
Francis was told by the numbers that there is nothing wrong in going for family planning, but blamed Ada for not selling Francis as a client, but Ada didn't want to bother explaining that she told him. A few weeks later, Francis' results came out and he failed. As usual, he blamed Ada and wrote to his parents about the cab, about the family planning, and Ada wrote to his brother, boy, explaining everything, and boy asked her to come back to Nigeria. By the time Francis' parents reply came, and I was already pregnant again. Hmm. It's been very tedious trying to get all those pictures and make this video look like a movie to you. I hope you enjoyed it. Please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel if you have not already subscribed. I'll be uploading the last part of the summary of this novel very soon. Please click on the like button and on the subscribe button so you can always get notified whenever I upload any video. Thank you very much for watching and see you very soon in another video. Bye for now.